After the cake is cooked and cooled completely, crumble into a large bowl. With a large spoon, mix cake truly with about 3 quarters of the can of frosting. You won't need the rest. Roll the mixture into quarter-size cake bowls and place on a baking sheet covered with wax paper. Place the cake bowls in the freezer for about 15 minutes to firm up. You can transfer them to the refrigerator to keep chilled and avoid freezing. Melt white candy coating in a heatproof plastic bowl, so that the coating is at least 3 to 4 inches deep for easier dipping. Melt in the microwave in 30 seconds intervals on low, stirring in between. Repeat until melted and smooth. Add blue candy color and stir until completely combined and you achieve the desired shade of blue. Remove a couple of cake bowls at a time from the refrigerator to work with. Dip the tip of a lollipop stick into the melted coating and insert into the bottom of Stitch's head. Dip the cake pop into the coating and remove in one motion without stirring. Remove and allow any excess coating to fall off the pop and back into the bowl. Then place the pops in a styrofoam block to dry. When dry, use a toothpick to dot a tiny amount of melted coating in position for the nose and attach one black jumbo confetti sprinkle. Use the same technique to attach two light blue jumbo confetti sprinkles in position then continue attaching seven, eight white miniature confetti sprinkles for teeth. Use a black edible ink pen to draw large teardrop-shaped pupils. For Stitch's ears, cut a red Starbust fruit chew candy into four pieces. Each piece will be molded into one ear. Shape each ear into a large flat teardrop shape and then pinch the pointed end together so there is a fold at the bottom. Attach the ear to the cake pop with melted candy coating. Hold in place for a few seconds until it sets. Continue with remaining cake pops. By the time you have attached all of the ears, you will notice that the ears have started to droop. That's fine. Reshape the ears so that they stand up and if you use a small paintbrush to apply melted candy coating to the back and edge of the ears, when it dries, the ears will remain standing.